Biofuels. After many years, it's still a hot topic of conversation not only here in the Buckeye State, but also in the Beltway, Washington, D.C., and around the country. Of course, you've heard of corn-based ethanol, soy-based biodiesel, and others, but now the utilization of the massive productivity and diversity of algae is an emerging ag revolution in the making. That's exactly what's happening just outside of central Ohio in Marysville at Algae Venture Systems. David Coho is their vice president of sales and marketing. Starting in about 2008 is when we really started focusing our attention on the value and merits of algae and what it could mean as a remediator of water to clean and uptake nutrients or solids and what it can also mean for valuable products. People often think of energy, they think of fuels, they think of electricity, but we also see it as a producer for um, higher valuable products such as specialty fuels, specialty plastics, bio-based plastics, uh, nutraceuticals, even pharmaceuticals. Algae Ventures parent company Univenture has worked closely with the Ohio Corn Growers Association and the Ohio Soybean Association. So how exactly does algae fit into our bio-based world? We're excited about it. We think algae in its ability to produce um, such extraordinary yields per acre uh, that it can that it provides great value. Energy, specifically fuel, is still relatively inexpensive compared to the other products that algae can provide or can be produced into. So we do see that the economics are not quite there yet for algae being a fuel. Certainly technology has to be developed for um, uh, at much greater scale um, for it to become a viable drop-in fuel replacement. But right now, it has viability as a high-value nutrient for uh, food consumption, for uh, nutraceuticals, pharmaceuticals, um, plant nutrients, fertilizers, as well as animal feeds. So there are higher areas, um, higher things up the value chain that algae can be, per, can be utilized for, which will generate higher revenue. Certainly and eventually, as those areas are satisfied and technology breakthroughs are uh, accomplished, you'll have the ability to um, produce, use algae for drop-in fuels. One of the thorns in agriculture's side over the past couple of years is the algal blooms in Grand Lake St. Mary and Lake Erie. So can this new technology be used to clean those messes up? Yes, we believe so. In fact, our doctor, Stephanie Smith, was invited to a congressional hearing on Habarka, um, specifically about harmful algae blooms and some of the um, issues that that has on our waterways. Um, a lot of the HABs or harmful algae blooms are the result of high nutrients and high solids being in our waterways. Algae is not necessarily the issue, it's more so the result. The great thing about what algae can do is algae can be a remediator. You see that in its uptake of nutrients um, up at Grand Lake St. Mary's that creates opportunity for the uptake of nutrients and then once the solids and the nutrients are contained within the algae that creates an opportunity or a challenge depending on your perspective to harvest that out of the water so that you're essentially getting those nutrients and those solids out of the water contained within the algae and then that algae can be utilized potentially for a number of uh, a, of different value stream products. Which means the latest algae technology can be an ally for agriculture in more ways than one. Find out more about Algae Venture Systems on their website at algevs.com. I'm Ty Higgins reporting for the Ohio AgNet.